Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a brand new sponsor shout out from Boosteroid.com. Boosteroid is a cloud gaming platform that is aiming to kind of revolutionize gaming, especially here on PC, but not just PC, also like mobile phones. So if you don't know what a cloud gaming platform is, uh, right, basically right now, if you don't have the hardware to play the modern titles, Call of Duty, or if your PC is broken, you might be like, I need to play some video games, but I don't have the hardware to do that. If you've got a stable internet connection, you can sign up to Boosteroid, link down below, and you can basically stream games through their hardware with near to no lag at all. Um, so they do have modern titles. I'll show you guys the titles that they've got on offer. Um, but it's, it's a great alternative if you've got a really old PC and right now you just, quite, you know, you can't get a new PC yet or you don't want to upgrade it yet. This is a great way to play the modern titles without having to have, obviously, a brand new PC. So if, you know, you've signed up, link down below. Uh, there is a subscription, obviously, based uh, element to this. It, it's just over four euros a month for the base subscription. Obviously, that's a crazy deal considering what games are on offer. And once you've signed in, you'll obviously get to this page. Uh, worth knowing that with this service you don't need to install anything so again if you're on an older pc and you also don't have much storage capacity you're not installing anything either because it's streamed through their hardware but as you can see a lot of the modern titles here obviously even gta 5 you got the new Call of Duty. Obviously, I play a lot of Warzone myself in my spare time. You can play League through this, Apex, FIFA, uh, World of Warcraft, World of Tanks. Like again, a lot of the big titles you can play through Boosteroid. Um, so I, I just thought it was a really good opportunity to show you guys because yeah, every now and then I do have people asking me for computer advice or they're like, I want to play this game but I can't. Again, this is a great, great alternative to upgrading right now. Um, with everything going on, obviously you might just want to play some games and this is a great way to do it and again worth knowing you can play games on your pc with your normal mouse and keyboard or you can play games with your phone if you have a, a, a you know a bluetooth controller that you can hook up to your phone you can stream any game to your phone or ipad and play with controller as well so that's kind of cool um so that's it that is boosteroid.com check it out in the link down below thank you so much for them because you know coming on board as a sponsor um and i you know as i think people know i take sponsors that help the audience this helps the audience. This helps somebody who may want to play Call of Duty right now, but can't. Well, now you can. You don't need the hardware yourself. You just need a stable internet connection. But feel free to check it out. Link down below. There's an FAQ in that if you need anything asked or answered. They also have a support team if you have any questions. But that is going to be everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that is about to follow. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And remember, check out the link down below. So hey, very quickly, they also wanted me to just include the subscription page that obviously you'll find once you've logged in. Uh, just to give an idea of the pricing. So the best value is the 12 month deal. If you pay for 12 months up front, it works out at €4.16 uh, per month, which is 49.89 for the whole year, uh, which is basically half price. Uh, then it kind of scales depending how many months you go for. So there's a six month deal, which is 665 per month. It works out as 830 a month works out as 25 euros for three months. Or you can just go per month and obviously cancel at any time uh, each month. And that's 989 per month. So that is the pricing. You'll find it once you've logged in. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody again. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Master. We return somewhere in ranked, as everyone would imagine. Uh, bring up the old load of a dude. Sorry, a bit late to the party. I was actually just setting something back up in my recording software. Uh, but you can see it's the load diamond, high platinum in our game. We are, where are we? We are here, platinum two in promo, apparently. Um, weird thing happened. And, oh, I know what happened. I'll explain in a second. So the Maokai and Yasuo, what to me was like, they, they swapped roles, but I didn't see anything. But then I just remembered my client, as you know, there's the bug right now. Uh, didn't connect to the chat service, so I'm guessing they agreed to swap, uh, even though I didn't see anything. But we've got a pretty good comp, by the way. It's not bad. Uh, it's a pretty good team fight wombo comp. Um, so like, the Vi ultimate with my Oriana ball on her into a you know Yasuo ultimate. That's a pretty good combo with a Nami wave and a Maokai ultimate on top of it. Like, that's that's pretty that's pretty scary if I'm honest. So hopefully we can get to that stage that we can make a big impact. Ooh, big impact uh, with that. Again, ignore my farming there. That didn't happen. Shush, shush, shush. 
Uh, I'm hoping uh, Maokai will have a basic free lane versus an Akali. I would hope. But yeah, this this middle mid lane is going to probably be very boring. Kind of similarish champions that just want to scale until team fights. Pretty much. Both of us have taken teleport because we know it's. You, neither of these champions realistically are killing one another unless there's big jungle interference. But in the pure 1v1, neither of us are probably going to die. Um, but yeah, we got a Yasso bot lane, which is okay, I guess. It's becoming more than norm, obviously. Ah! I had uh, yesterday off, kinda. So, maybe a bit rusty. I don't know. I, I, I'm... It's weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys are like. If I have a couple days off from League, it takes me a good 5-10 minutes to be like, Oh, I'm back. Some people can get back into the groove. Um, straight away. Like, again, Vixie's had a few days off for her wrist. She streamed a few games of League last night. And she just started wrecking face and got, like, legendary three games in a row. I'm like, alright, fair enough. You had, like, a nearly a week's break. And it, it didn't... Yep. Good. <laughs> I'm just more of a derp, I guess. Apparently this is the rank 134th Vi in the world. That's cool. Again, you always have to, like, you know, consider that there's obviously not many Vi players. So, like, if you're world ranked in the top uh, 1,000 players playing Lee Sin, that's very impressive considering how many Lee Sin players there are. So, it, you know, the world rankings are always good, but there are differences between them. Ah, if she hit that, she might have got the CC to stop the E in time. Close. Really close. She just let me, her me auto attack her like a buttload then. Am I scared of a Graves gank? Not really. Yeah, like it's never gonna kill me. I'm just gonna push this in, go back. Don't know if I'll use teleport to come back to lane, but then my first base can be a um, Dark Seal Corrupting Potion. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And one of those. Lovely. Alright, not bad, not bad. I missed a bunch of farm, because Huzzy Dirt. Yeah. yeah. Would I? Just like the hero oh, I... someone bought merch! Uh, Cheers Huzz bought a premium tea. You're supposed to put your name there. Whoever that was, you're a pleb. But thank you so much for buying a tea. Obviously, merch is still available. Um, I know some people said, oh, you know, at the start of the month when I get paid. No, obviously, pressure. But thank you so much. Again, merch has got a lot better than I actually anticipated, if I'm honest. It's really cool. And again, remember, when you get the merch, feel free to send me a tweet picture, a Snapchat, an Instagram, whatever. I I've st I'm starting to get them. And if I'm honest, I'm... Uh, I'm saving them to a folder because it's just it's a really special feeling of like when people are like, you know, are going to be representing technically my brand. That's really cool. Um, so I kind of want to celebrate that by kind of saving, uh, saving the little images and stuff. But obviously, my Twitter, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, why aren't you following me on Twitter? That is Huzzy Games Lol. Uh, or my Snapchat, I think, is just Huzzy Games. My Instagram, I think, is also just Huzzy Games, too. I'd like everything just to be Huzzy Games. But not. I think I might have... I think years ago, before I, like, did stuff properly, I took, like, the Twitter account Huzzy Games. And then for some reason, I made the Twitter... Like, remade the Twitter account. So that's a Huzzy Derp moment right there. Ah... That's a dragon. Maybe summon Airy would have been better in this matchup, by the way. Would have been uh, enabling me to poke her a lot more. 
Phase Rush is better for mid to late game, though, but I also think I could have punished the Lissandra pick. Um, A69. All right, lovely. How's Maokai doing? He's a bit behind in farm, that's fine. Itemization, Maokai will just eventually never die. Get himself like a Spectre's Cowl or something. It'll be Gooch. That's Graves. I'm gonna go back. Oh, she's got him Proto Belt. Hmm. Am I going to teleport? I'm going to teleport now. Maintain lane pressure. See if we can bully her a bit. Damn, I should have started running forward a lot earlier. Might have been able to get an ultimate off there. Goblin, thank you so much, dude. Was that four months of Twitch Prime? Massive appreciate. Again, if you are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for the support. If you're watching on Twitch, thank you very much for the support. Um, yeah, it's been crazy recently. Again, YouTube views, you may have seen me kind of talk about it here or there. Uh, were a bit weird, like, a little couple days ago. That, like, my views legitimately halved for, like, two days. Uh, talked to YouTube partner support, and they were like, yep, yeah, there's nothing wrong. Turns out there was. Uh, so yesterday I got a message on my YouTube dashboard basically admitting... There is currently a bug at the moment with YouTube views, so the data may be inaccurate. And then guess what? The day after, like, so of me recording this yesterday, my views are back to normal. <laughs> and, like, they're back to being really good. And I'm like, oh, my God. So that was kind of, like, stressful. Because, like, I am fine with little dips in views. As a YouTuber, I've done this full time for four years. I'm used to views going up and down. That's just the norm. Oh. God damn, Graves has been mid quite a bit. Alright. Again, I'm scared of a Graves gank now when she's level 6. That's a... Oof. What server am I on? E West. God damn. Who did the damage then? Yeah, it was Lissandra mainly. Graves does do a lot of damage, though. He did obviously get nerfed. Doesn't YouTube also not send vids? Oh, yeah. So we may as well make this announcement, like, as a little, like, you know, spring cleaning. If you guys want to make sure you get all the content, obviously, if you're watching this video, it's likely that you're one of my, like, you know, regular viewers anyway. But feel free, you know, we YouTubers do say it, but it genuinely is a thing that you would think that becoming a subscriber of the channel is sending a message to YouTube to be like, hey, I want to see this person's videos, but for some reason in the last couple of years, YouTube has ignored that, and it's now all about the stupid bell. So obviously, yes, being a subscriber will make it come in your subscriber feed and everything, but to actually get notified or whatever about, oh, the video is actually coming out, you got to hit the bell and you got to turn notifications on to all. So if you haven't done that, please do, and occasionally, by the way, it can bug, and to fix that bug, you have to turn it off and turn it back on again. So feel free to do that as a bit of spring maintenance to my channel if you want to make sure you're keeping up with all the content. Would much appreciate if you would do that. Um, but yeah. If uh, that Lissandra does that TP there and doesn't get anything for it and enables me to stay mid and just push, get a tower plate or two, that's wonderful. Because th this Vayne's going to have a really hard time surviving this game, by the way. What is this guy's damage? Like, wow, he really wants to kill me. Damn, dude. And by the way, that's nerfed graves. Just straight up basically one-shots anybody. It's like, okay. Fair enough. How do I move the... T People have asked me this question. I had it in the comments the other day. How do I... I literally just click on the minimap. I don't do anything fancy. 
I legit just click. I just go on the minimap and just go like this. Click, 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 click. Some people use the F keys, by the way. You can use the F keys. I don't use those. Yeah, I don't use the YouTube homepage ever myself. I, I only find videos through the subscription page. But apparently most people on YouTube don't use the sub page. They use the homepage. And my videos aren't guaranteed to come up there. So, yeah. Yeah, this Graves likes me a lot. I don't know if they're a duo, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Because I think Graves has only ganked mid. Which is a little bit huzzy sus. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm on my way this way. Ah, pathing, dude. Good Nami wave. Maokai died? That was so close to hitting Graves. Oh my god. Where's our Vigon? Is she just left? Please say Yasuo's coming. Ah! There's so many mistakes being made. So many. Does so much damage. Jesus, that champion. There's a reason he's in every single high rating game, either picked or banned. You legit cannot let that champion in the game. And I've said for a while now, man, there are so many overpowered champions in League, and it just feels like Riot has no control. It's like, oh my god. Do, 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 do. Definitely a winnable game though. Because again, our team fight later is absolutely crazy. Kane is the most broken. Nah, I wouldn't nah, I wouldn't say. Again, just look at high rating play. Graves is, Graves legitimately isn't every single game. But Kane isn't. Not every single game. He's in a lot of them, sure, but. There's just a lot of problematic champions in league. And even, you know, the client, like, again, my, I do think my theory of, like, the, the actual developers of League don't play League anymore. Has anybody else been having a lot of uh, bad things with the LOL client recently? Um, I've been getting a lot myself. And surely if the developers played League and they were having these daily problems with the client as well, they'd fix the client. It's like, oh, dude, I can't play with this. It makes me question, are they actually playing League? Wow, that was really close. Because if they were playing League and they were having these issues with the client, surely they'd be like, dude, we need to fix this. This is annoying. But maybe because they're not playing League, they don't know it's bad. I don't know. There's so many. Like right now, I logged into the client today on this account. My chat has not connected. So in Champion Select, I can't see any of the Champion Select chat. I I would have to, if I wanted to have, be, have my friends list, I'd have to re-log. It, it's just insane. It's been months like this. And obviously, maybe the current working conditions that obviously writers and that obviously have to work from home at the moment, maybe that's something to do with it, but it literally has been months. Enemy team, by the way, two dragons so far. We definitely don't want them to get the third. Oh my god. Oh, they let him go back. That was really close. Uh, Carmen Chaos, thank you so much, dude. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can slowly see Maokai starting to win these trades. Cassandra TP. In before Graves will be mid lane again in solo kills me. But I've got Vi potentially shadowing me a bit here. Oh look! He's mid lane again! This dude, like, this dude has a bone to pick with me or something. Like, what the hell? I don't understand. Whoop. Nice bot lane, man. They just triple killed them. Ah, they nearly triple killed them. He's mid lane again. All right. All right. What the hell? He just didn't die. He's so tanky. <laughs> ah! That was his true grit stacks, by the way. He probably had like 40 armor. Legit taking no damage from my auto attacks. Uh, I can't beat him. Press Q. It was on cooldown, my dude. <sighs> and also, ball positioning would have taken a while to kill him anyway. Man. Graves is nuts. A champion. I can't TP. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way. We can't let them keep getting all these dragons. No. Why are we not killing? Wait, why are you here? Damn, I don't know. We should have killed the Graves. He got a bounty. Mm -hmm. But I, I honestly think, like, that what they hit Graves with, um,. They hit Graves with a 0 0.2 scaling AD nerf to his Q. That's not his problem. Like, yeah, Graves does decent damage, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the dude can have, like, 100 armor without building any armor. He's so tanky for a full damage AD range champion. That's more the issue. Tone down the tankiness. Again, I like Graves, but this is if you're a Graves player, don't be all offended like some people get. I like Graves. I play Graves jungle myself. So yeah, it's not an attack on Graves. The champion is just very strong. He just has the kind of best of both worlds situation at the moment. Damage and tankiness. Okay, Akali. Ooh, they're killing... Look how tanky he is. They're on him for ages. Look at this. Just can't kill him. What? That was questionable. No way. I was going to say, I was like, no way. Do, 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 do. What build am I going? Either go Zonya next if I just want to have more survivability, mainly against the Graves, if I'm honest. Or do I just go kind of greedy? Like, I'm not having a great game, but a lot of that is just because of Graves. Um, do I just go like, screw it, I'm going Deathcap. Deathcap, obviously, in our big Wombo team fight, if I get a really good ultimate, legit would kill everybody. But you think I can get away with that right now? That's the problem. I don't know. How's my day been? Pretty good, actually. Um, I, I had a finally a good night's sleep last night. It's been a while. 
have not been sleeping well recently. But last night was a lot better. Nice. So we got a fed Yasuo, a fed Vi. That's honestly perfect for what we need. Um, do they have that damage? I don't actually know. Yeah, they do with Vi ult, yeah. Ah, uh, guys, I'm going greedy. They should back off now. I'm going greedy. Do I play COD on PC or PS4? I play COD on PC. If, if a game's available on PC, I'll be playing it on PC. I am a, I am a PC gamer. I do have a PS4 Pro, and obviously, yeah, I'll get the PS5. I doubt I'll get the new Xbox. Like, I'm going to be honest, there seems very little point to get Xboxes anymore. Because, obviously, they've, they've integrated a lot of, like, Xbox exclusives now, just on Windows in general. So, what's the actual point of owning the console? What? That was weird. What is going on? Alright. That happened, apparently. Jesus, she one-shot him. Oh, I want to kill this guy so bad. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> Why is he BMing? Like, what's going on? This Graves is trolling. The hell's that about? We can, yeah, we actually could do Baron. I don't know if we can do it now. It might be a bit too late. But we'll see. Um, We do it actually really fast. Oh, Vayne's not even here. Yeah, do it. Maokai should be in here, though. I don't think he's a big enough deterrent, and I think we just need to kill it really quick. Oh, God, I just noticed the score, man. What the hell? Let's stomp. Are you? Uh... Screw that. I'm like support Oriana this game. them this graves is again you know obviously there's there been the whole conversation about toxicity and boy boy and all that was like you know made that video and riot replied officially this graves is literally one of these players he, this graves is legit part of that problem yep so there, there you go all right all right all right all right weird game though What is going on? Damn, she saved the roll. Ooh, close bubble. Alright, nice. We get the inhib. Death cat! Uh, it probably goes Zonya's now. But that was a game on Orianna. It was a bit of a loosey-goosey warm-up game. I'm going to upload it, even though it was a bit of a stomp. We did okay. We got a bit... I don't know. Would I use the word focused? I'm not really sure. Like, Graves came mid lane a lot. Lissandra, by the way, did sod all this game. She, she only did stuff when Graves was mid. And, yeah. Um, but this game is a good summary as well. Because... Um, obviously, on my channel, I generally avoid uploading games that there's an inter or something. Because it has a negative vibe to it. And I'll be honest. Because most of the time, it feels like I have the inters on my team. 
But this game does show a primary example because trust me, there'll be people go, ah, the Graves, you know, was doing well. It's not his fault. You got bad teammates. That's why he's running it down. No matter what, there's never a time you run it down and int, right? Like you can't defend that. And the Graves adds to that problem. So it's a good video to show this. these problems do occur. They do happen um you can't defend it don't defend it whether it's on your team enemy team you're doing well they're doing well they're doing bad you're doing bad D just don't do that behavior that's what we're aiming for also i forgot to mention uh sorry i missed it calming chaos resub for 70 months here on twitch again i like giving shout outs to subs because obviously they, they're supporting what i do but 70 months is absolutely insane um i'll give it to the vice she played well she did really well. Uh, but there's a win in the promo. So we have one more game to be the deciding match. We went 5 for 880 farm, which is not bad um, at all. It's, it's a fine. And then damage. I'm not expecting too much. Uh, actually, that's more than I thought. You know, again, clearly, like I said, the, the, the Lissandra was not doing much this game. Clearly, she did 10,000 damage. I did 16.7. So a very big difference in mid. Uh, top lane Akali just going to be like doing a lot of damage to Maokai. Obviously, Vayne struggling heavily um to the Yasuo again Yasuo is a high pressure lane um and obviously yeah the Vi having a great great game on Vi that is very impressive to have the most damage in the game on Vi but that is it hopefully you guys enjoyed again this series obviously is our chill smurf series which again has diamond MMR anyway um hopefully you're doing well let me know how you're doing and uh, I'll see you guys next time so like comment subscribe ding the bell would massively appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time peace